Hey everybody, it's Maria. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I wanted to share with you today my recipe binder and, and try to explain the best I can my meal planning process. I'm usually changing it up, but I think I found a way to kind of get me on track. I'm doing kind of a two different way of meal planning, but that's okay. Um, I spent the better part of the morning getting this organized. It was driving me crazy and I... I've got like 5 to 10% of it uh, left to get done. I got tired of uh, dealing with it. I was like, you know what? I want to rainbow loom. Let's rainbow loom. So, uh, matter of fact, I'm in my kitchen getting ready to cook dinner. And um, if you guys want to see any cooking videos, let me know in the comments below. I know some of you may want to. A lot of you probably don't want to. But uh, I enjoy cooking. And I, I've had several of my coworkers ask me for help on certain recipes. So, I'd be open to try it out and see how it goes. I know back in the day I had some food that was really gross. Um, I don't eat a lot of fried food and as much I still eat fried food, but not as much like we used to. And I know we both don't. So I've got to a point where I just I like a little bit healthier things, but I still like down home cooked meals. If that makes sense. So anyway, what I use in conjunction with my meal planning and recipe binder is uh, the this is just some of it the. Happy Planner meal planning sheets. I think this came from the uh, uh, home edition. I don't know if this is still available. But they also have in the recollection section, uh, at least they did uh, when I went last time, about a couple of months ago, meal planner uh, booklet for those small recollections binders. Uh, and I have that one too. Um, and that really helped out cause, um, because I had some of those sheets uh, punched in my mini Happy Planner. And I had uh, written down what we had left in the um uh the pantry and all that so let me uh, try to back up before i get into this the sunday before we get paid i sit down and get our budget done okay so i know what bills we have coming out and then the day that we go um grocery shop and pay our bills uh i will sit down with the flip app it's f-l-i-p-p -P, turquoise background white writing very helpful uh, you type in your zip code and it comes up with all the sales. Now, um, you have to, uh, it basically gives you all the stores, sales ads on your phone, but I like to price match and that's what's helping me with my budget. Uh, I was going to tell you we went $4 over, but we went a little bit over than that. I think we went, probably went 20, 10 to $20 over total because I had Carrie get me some more bacon stuff and then we've had to get some coffee creamer and I'm trying to get our... Uh, budget down to where we're spending less than a hundred way less than a hundred dollars I'm guessing about 75 ballpark range for two weeks so that way we can save money um so yeah and I ran into a, an absolute great meat sale I wish I could have gone back over there today at Brookshire's uh, we had they had to buy one get one for a penny on their uh a lot of their stuff it we were looking at the coffee at first and then we'll we went in there without a basket and we hit a really great meat sale so that definitely helped um, and so that's how I'm doing my meal planning based upon the sales and stuff that I want to cook, if that makes sense. I used to just do it based upon recipes I want to cook, but really I have to rely on the sales first and then see if I can build from there, if that makes sense. Um, and then the day before, uh, we go shopping again, I write down our inventory and that really did help because we had some stuff left over from the last time. So, um, this is just a big three ring binder. You can, there's a bunch of Pinterest ideas, uh, YouTube ideas. I am on Pinterest under Crafty Beauty D. I think it's Crafty Beauty Diva one, not D one. Um, I've got some really great recipe ideas. Uh, I'm not on Instagram because I had put Instagram on my the new update on my phone and it decided to kill my battery. So I have to completely leave that off and I can't cannot get it back on there until they get rid of the. They put it. They put a Snapchat feature on there and that killed my battery that killed several other people's video uh batteries so i have no idea why i went off in the left field but i guess that's just explaining why i'm not on instagram right now because i love to take pictures of my food and post it there but anyway moving on I, I just recently recovered this with scrapbooking paper it was the original couponing binder for like a second and then i went to something else i haven't couponed in a while i still enjoy it but i've got to get back into it. it's hard when you stop doing it 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 don't make no sense, you know. I, I don't know. It. I've got some coupons that do not expire until February, but I've got to do a royal clean out. And so, 
I'm hoping to get back into it. If you guys want me to try to do a couponing video when I get into it, I may do that. Um, again, just scrapbooking paper. Uh, this came from Dollar Tree. I have a permanent marker. I usually have a pen in here for me. And then this was just the packaging. I think my notebook paper came in or something came in. And I put a piece of cardboard uh, and then washi taped and punched it. So that way I can put this in here. Now, when I go to meal plan, I don't say, oh, Wednesday we're going to have chicken dumplings and Thursday we're going to have spaghetti. But it does help uh, sometimes if you do that. Um, Carrie will pull out uh, meat uh, the night before and I like to think of it as a challenge because if I can't if I don't decide to go with my originally plan I can do something else and so I think that's fun and I told him I said just surprise me pull out something that you want and I will go from there too so that's just a good idea I think uh, I have some kitchen tips in the front I need to add some more this is going to be cut and trimmed down tomorrow because this has been getting on my nerves this is my biscuit uh, section and then I have another recipe I have zucchini fritters i we don't eat a lot of fried things but that looks really good and i'm also getting in heavily into baking my own stuff from scratch so yeah so um for some reason i, put, I threw that in there but i do have a bread section everything's alphabetized by the way as much as i can if, I, if you see it wrong that's fine i um i have a uh, let's see appetizers and soups um, beef. Uh, what got me going on this one today is because I had several re <clears throat> recipe categories that was not working for me. Like I had one section that just had dinners and it was like, why did I throw that in there? So I had to really get, I got rid of a lot of recipes that we'll never use. And then I consolidated a lot of them. So, um, a lot of this came from this great magazine that I got at a thrift store, which I love going to the thrift stores and I will find magazines for next to nothing. And, grab them and then like today I finally sat down and threw out like four or five magazines got what I wanted out of there and did this so this came from country woman sometimes I can find that and all, a lot of these I I hole punched um try to stick them in the um page protectors but they don't always work sorry um when my cast was trying to tell me to feed them and it's not dinner time yet they have a set time <laughs> Okay, anyway, moving on. Uh, so this is breads, and I may have to take these in there because they're starting to come apart. I have another bread recipe that I need to put in here. Some of these are just random section dividers that I've had. Like, this one was supposed to be breakfast, and it's all already come off. But I saw this, and this looked really good. Chicken and tater tot waffles, and so I'm going to try that. Um, I used to not have a breakfast section that I can think of, but when I'm sitting here getting my grocery list out, I need to be aware of what I need to put on here. So... Yeah, this one looks really good. Um, my husband, of course, is diabetic. I can't serve this for him, but this would be fun to take to uh, work or something, you know, for the morning people. So, yeah, just bazillion, I don't want to say bazillion recipes, chicken. Um, I have a great section in here. I need to share this one with you because it is a great recipe. Um, pork, where is my crock pot? Okay, it's probably under slow cooker. Pork, okay, here is apricot pork chops. There's one in here I really want to share with you. It is awesome that I made this past week. If I can find the section here, give me just a second here. Okay, it's under my slow cooker. I gotta put it under crock pot. I'll never find it. Okay, I know I have horrible handwriting, but that's cool. Crock pot, uh, pork chop stuffing. You basically take any pork chops. I used boneless in this recipe. I take some uh, cream of mushroom soup, um, stove top stuffing, and two cups of chicken broth. And you basically, what you do is you put your um, pork chops at the bottom of your crock pot. Um, and then you also mix your uh, stuffing with all of the uh, some of the chicken broth. Let it sit up. Put a can of cream of mushroom soup. Um, and then you add, once the cornbread's set up, you throw that on top of there. But I threw in a can of mixed vegetables, and I cooked it on high for about two hours or until the chops were done. It was awesome. It was like turkey pot pie all over again. Just to share. Um, and there's, there, there's this recipe I made a long time ago, back in the day. And I tried to, <clears throat> excuse me, make it for Carrie. Total fail. I want to get back into it. I actually found it in this magazine. So I'm like, uh, yeah. It's basically taking grape jelly, making it into a sauce, and you put it on your pork chops. 
is excellent. All right, another section I want to share with you is family. This is any kind of recipes I get from the family members or stuff that I come up with, like the Mexican restaurant uh, chicken casserole I come up with, the Mexican crock pot chicken spaghetti, and I've got more. I just haven't added them in here. So, And then this is all my Pinterest recipes, but I may change that because, like, uh, Pinterest, I got crock pots and recipes, that kind of thing. I think this is going to be more for the general recipes, probably. I don't know. And in the back, I've got sheet protectors and extra sure recipes I want to put back here and that kind of thing. So, I hope this made sense. I love looking at people's uh, recipe binders and how they meal plan. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to get off here. We're having baked barbecue uh, chicken drumsticks. And I'm thinking about making some mashed potatoes or something like that in a vegetable. I haven't decided. I know the chicken is the main star of the show. So, Anyway, thank you guys so much. Uh, again, just let me know if you want to see more of these uh, kinds of videos, and I will let you guys go. Have a great day.